In your 38 years as a judge, is there a certain case that you still think about today? I get upset even thinking about it. I felt crumbles at that moment. I've never forgotten that. I, to this day, and I was on the bench for 38 years, I still think of that case. It's my first day on the bench. I was on the bench and I asked my dad, who was maybe the most decent man I ever met in my life, an immigrant from Italy, you know, just a kind, gentle man. And so I said, Dad, why don't you come down and view me? I'm sitting on the bench today for the first time. And a woman came before me who had three kids. She owed, I think, I don't know, 300 hours worth of parking tickets. And she said, I just can't pay them, I don't have the money. And I tried to speak to her about, you know, why don't we talk? She says, I just can't pay. She said, I, don't, I just, I don't care, I can't pay. I have three kids, I just can't pay. And I says, well, maybe I can place you on a payment program. She says, you can pay for me on a payment program, but I can't pay anyway. And my first day on the bench, and I said, well, no one's gonna pull the wool over my eyes, right? So I said, okay, the fine's $300, see the clerk, and now if you don't pay, the car's gonna get booted. So court's over, and we go into chambers. After court, my dad comes in, and I said, dad, how did I do? He said, Frank, that woman, what woman, Dad? That woman who had three kids. He says, you find her. I said, Dad, she was arrogant, she was rude. You know, I says, I have really had no choice. He said, she was scared. You should have talked to her. You should have understood her problems. You can't treat people like that, Frank. And I can tell you, without fear of contradiction, it never happened again after that. Never. In that case, I can never, ever forget.